up guys, Matt's Go Films here. Welcome back to another Lego Star Wars review. Today I will be reviewing set 75325, The Mandalorian's N1 Starfighter. This set comes with 412 pieces and it is recommended for ages 9 and up. And this set looks really, really exciting. I know a lot of people aren't really a fan of the build. I can't wait to get the set opened and see how the build is. I personally, from what I'm seeing on the box, I'm not a fan of like the different shades of gray. I think that's really inaccurate, but overall, I think the shaping and stuff of the build looks really, really cool. So I'm excited to open it up, see what's inside. First, let's take a look at the box art. So on the bottom left, corner you have Boba Fett and Fennec Shand to represent the Book of Boba Fett box art. You also come with four minifigures in this set with the Mandalorian, Grogu, Pelimato, and a BD droid. This is not BD1. BD1 has a different print which is really cool but let's take a look at the back of this box. So right here you're in Peli's hangar and you have, actually they only show you two play features of the set, so does that mean that there are only two play features in the set? I don't know, we're gonna have to figure that out. But let's see, we have a few thumb tabs. I like to cut open the thumb tabs, so let's go ahead and do that and then open up this box. So, There we go, pour everything out. And oh, yeah. after opening this box, you come with two bag ones, which is extremely surprising, plus a bag two. So that's only three bags for a set with 412 pieces. That doesn't seem right. And then I look at the instruction booklet and this is not the normal Lego instruction booklet that I've known. They've changed the design for the instruction booklet. You don't have the actual box art of the set on the instruction booklet. You have just what you have right there. Let me know, did you get something like this with your copy of this set down in the comments below? Because this is the first time I'm encountering something like this. You also have a sticker sheet, but I had to take a look at the set because I thought there was just definitely something wrong, but nope, it is confirmed that there are only two bags to complete this set. So yeah, I'm excited to build this up. This was honestly really surprising. I don't know why it's like that, but yeah. Let's build the setup and take a look at the minifigure. The first minifigure that we get in this set is the Mandalorian or Din Djarin. And this is the first ever Mandalorian with his face print underneath. Looks really, really cool. I believe this is also the first ever Mandalorian that came with the Darksaber. So that's also really cool. You have the beautiful arm printing on both sides, the leg printing, body printing, all of that. You can also take off the backpack that he comes with or jetpack. And behind there is some more printing. So overall, a really fun figure. We've seen this figure so many times in so many other previous. And moving on to our next figure here, we have Peli Motto. She is new and exclusive to this set, and she is definitely not perfect. Her hairpiece is inaccurate, but overall, I am a fan of the minifigure. I think that this is the first and probably only Peli Motto minifigure we will be getting. And yeah, she doesn't come with many printing or many details except the belt as well as her body printing, no leg printing or arm printing or anything. But she also comes with a double-sided 
face print as well as some back printing. So not that detailed minifigure, but I don't really see what other details they could have added. Is Grogu. This is the first time I am seeing a Mandalorian set that has Grogu on it. It usually says Baby Yoda, but let's move the box here. You can see it says Grogu on the box, which is great. But this is obviously an extremely tiny minifigure. As per usual, looks really fat from the side. Nothing interesting on the back. And just a really nice minifigure. Finally, we have the BD Droid. I really like this figure. You can see all of the printed details that he has. This is obviously not BD-1 because BD-1 has red printing and this droid has blue printing. If you've been keeping up with the channel, you know, I just started playing Fallen Order and I just unlocked BD-1 in the previous episode. So really cool that I get to open up this minifigure right now and have it in hand. It is obviously really nice. We will probably be getting the same minifigure with some different printing in the BD-1 set coming just in a week anyway, or so. moving on to the build itself. The first thing that I thought of when I finished this setup was, holy crap, this is so unnecessarily big. This set it, with 412 pieces it's a very big model and it's inaccurate. The N1 Starfighter is definitely one of the smaller starships in Star Wars, at least like, you know, probably around the size of like an X-Wing or TIE Fighter. Not exactly sure, but this set is definitely not minifigure scale. It's bigger than minifigure scale, but size side, this is still a really nice set. I am not a fan of the two different shades of gray. Obviously, you have the dark gray, which is inaccurate. The light gray is more accurate. Obviously, the preferred color would be the silver chrome color. But obviously, th this set would definitely cost a lot of money if it was all chrome. Because obviously Lego can't really, or they don't really make a lot of chrome pieces and they're very rare. There is like one chrome piece like right here, but except that it's all just dark gray or light gray. And I'm not personally a fan of that. You obviously have some of the yellow details as well. Taking a look here at the side near the cockpit, but let's go ahead and dive deeper into this set starting off with the front here you probably have the cannons or this these things that represent the front cannons you obviously have the two engines both are different the one has some greebling and then the other has also greebling but the greebling is different which is really really nice i like how they did that it's obviously accurate to the in movie or in show model you know the, sh the model that's in the show you have a sticker piece right here you also have this engine piece which when you push down on it fires one single spring-loaded shooter that you can find in the front of the set which is really fun you also have this middle panel right here that can open up and inside you can fit all of Din Djarin's thing, things like the dark saber. You can also fit his jetpack in there as well. And you can fit all of his stuff in there and then you can close it right back up. Obviously not accurate, but a neat play feature nonetheless and then right here you have the cockpit piece mine is a little bit scratched up but you have a panel inside made out of a sticker right there and you can obviously fit Din Djarin in there pretty easily just grab him 
and do that. There we go. Close the cockpit. Fits in there very well. This is the first N1 Starfighter that, that I've owned. I obviously only own the previous version. In the first version that I own right now, you can't actually fit a full minifigure in there. It's got to be a minifigure with like the smaller legs, but this one can obviously fit Din Djarin in there, which is not a minifigure with small legs, but really cool. This piece in the back tends to fall off quite a bit. I am not a fan of that. Also, you have this little pod thing for little baby Grogu. This is the cutest play feature I think I own in a Lego set. And then obviously this piece fell off again. So not a fan of the way that they made this piece. Keeps on falling off. And then you obviously have the tail back here. Mine came a little bit bent, but whatever. I like this set. I'm a fan. Obviously, I love all the play features. Not great in the accuracy side of things, but still a neat set nonetheless. Alright guys, that is it for this review. I am a fan of this set. It is not perfect, I would say. It is like a 7 out of 10. For $60, you're getting 420 pieces, which if you're into price per piece, not that great of a ratio, but you are getting a very big set and it's a very light set. Like when I picked it up, I was like, dang, this weighs like barely anything. And it's big, but it is not like heavy. And I think that for $60, it is worth it. I would say if you're not a big fan of the Disney Plus shows and all that, don't get this set. It's not really worth it. But if you love the Mandalorian, you love Din Djar, and you love the N1 Starfighter, definitely worth getting this set. As I said, 7 out of 10 for me. With that said, that is it for this review. Let me know what you think of the set down in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel for more LEGO Star Wars reviews just like this one. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.